What do you think? Can a kindergartner learn to code? I'm here in West Bend, Wisconsin to see what it looks like when an elementary school integrates coding into their curriculum. Let's go check it out. What is coding? It's basically like programming, but telling the thing to do something. You could code a robot to do something, or you could code on a computer. Several years ago, we implemented an iPad pilot program at Fair Park, and we saw how successful it was. From there progressed kind of an inner passion for myself of how I could continue to embed technology into my classroom. Mr. Harder, our tech director, was at a conference. He said, I think you might want to start with a little small bot, hence the Azobot. And that's what lent itself into more coding opportunities. It's really fun. They're programmed by the color black. They always recognize that you can make a path, but it needs to be wide enough for them to recognize it. When they're coding, it's like they're in the zone and they're having fun and they're communicating and collaborating with their peers. It's just really giving them that exploration time to kind of understand like, if this happens, then this is going to happen. But if I do this, I didn't want that to happen. Um, you know, just learning those problem solving skills. In my class, we do coding about once a week. This year, we've been doing a fundamentals class through code.org. And as they continue, they learn different challenges. They learn different vocabulary. I also use uh, Wonder Workshops Dash and Dot. One of the big things is that they can go off your voice. Like if you say something, Dash actually turns towards mm -hmm. the children. And so they really can interact with that. When I start the year, we read books about robots and kind of just like prelude to all the stuff that we're going to be learning about. The skills that they're learning, they can really apply not only into academic areas, but into their everyday lives as well. They teach me new things every single day. There are so many different options when it comes to coding. It's not just sitting on a computer typing a program. It's very interactive. I just love it because it gives you know, every child an opportunity to be a star and do a good job where, you know, if they're not the best at reading or they're not the best at math, they're still learning a skill that they can use in the future and half the time they don't even know that they're learning. We're very hands off when it comes yeah. to it. They're taking that ownership into it and so it's so exciting to see my students get up and actually ask someone else for help and like work together through that problem. They are learning to be persistent and really work through all those challenges. Yeah. We enjoyed it so much that we've done tech clubs um, so we've opened it up to some of the, the different grade levels at our school. So I was just in your coding class watching a little bit of what you were doing with the robots. What do you have to measure to tell Dash what to do? I buy centimeters. Two feet is like 60 centimeters and you just make them do that much. What is your favorite part about coding? That you got like a challenge to solve and you just try to figure out how to do it. Can you tell me what the hardest part of coding is? Um, solving problems. Do you think you'll keep coding after this year? Yeah. Yeah? It's fun. Can you think of some vocabulary words that you've learned? A bug. A bug? What's a bug? It's a problem. And how do you fix the bug? By solving the problem. Persistence. What does that mean? Like you like never give up when on a like on a bug with you have to fix. Put some new things in the code to make it right. The smiles on their face or when they get it and they're like yes or they high five each other. It's just very rewarding. This is new to me. It's actually native to these kindergartners. And they actually teach me which is just such a reciprocity gift for a kindergartner to be able to say I think this is how we can do it. That's your highest level of learning is when you can teach somebody else. I guess I feel that we have this service to get them prepared in this digital era. When you talk about little kids coding people are like how can they do that? Well the tools are there let's teach them the skills and so it allows kids at a young age before there may be stereotypes that are applied to you know if this is a, a, a male or a female thing um, or that's only a four-year college thing or a two-year college thing. As our students go into the world they're going to see more and more computer science they're going to see more and more artificial intelligence and so this is a way to help um, our youngest students have access to it and see it uh, both as a career choice and just to learn about it. Seeing that engagement, that excitement really knows that we're doing the right thing then for our kids. Every child, whether they be literate or not, can code when you think about it. Any child that can draw a line 
can start the stage of the Azobot, of creating a code or programming the Azobot, so everybody feels successful. These children are passionate as well, and when you share that passion together, you really can move miles with this. It's always neat to share your story. To be able to present at an international ISTE conference like that is something that is very unique. The people that you meet who are doing something similar, it's not just us sharing our story, it's the learning that we get back from that. Our title was, Can a Kindergartner Learn to Code? And someone came up to us and they're like, well, can a kindergartner code? And I'm like, yes. I feel excited because I'm a master at computers and there's really nothing that's not my favorite. Everything's my favorite about coding. Thanks for joining me for a day of elementary school coding in West Bend. Schools are finding such creative ways to teach collaboration, problem solving, and STEM skills that will make their students future ready. Stay tuned for the next episode when we will check out another inspiring school district. I'll see you then.